Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Big Sister, guys. I just want to talk with you real quick about my uh, Bojenmi tea that I've been drinking. I want to keep giving you guys a follow-up. My weight has been falling significantly, guys. Um, I was normally like steady like in the 150s, which for my height was considered to be obese. Um, but it didn't look like it. It didn't look like it because I just... I wasn't fat and you know sloppy and poking out but for my for me you know how you can be obese when they say obese obese is that necessarily like what you're gonna see on a show called my 600 pound life obese is what they say for your height and weight you're obese so they'll say hey if you are this height and they go with your age as well and some other things they'll say you're obese but you can still look good <laughs> um that's a mistake a lot of people will make to think obese means you have to just look really big and fat and walking slow and you can only use a walker to walk no mm -mm. obese is based on the height and weight standard your age how much do you weigh all right and that will describe it so guys any who who so, I would say since COVID and all of that, just slowing down my activities, I noticed that, hey, I got on that scale and I was not happy. And uh, anyway, I already gave you the story about dieting, oh, well, eating right, because I don't really eat a lot of junk, really, even though for a spell I was, but... I like salads, I like I like yogurt, I love water, you know, I if I did not have my children, I probably would not cook as much as I do. Um and I don't I'm finding my body begin to reject meat more and more. Um so I barely eat any meat. Like every now and then I do and I eat a bit of it, but sometimes when I try to eat it, I feel a little sick. Like even chicken Sometimes when I eat chicken, I have to put a lot of hot sauce on it because something something about the chicken, I taste something that's making me feel nauseous. Um, I think I like steak though, but still, I can't eat too much. So, um, anywho, so doing all this stuff, I was still, it was like my weight was just stuck right where it was no matter what. And I found myself having to starve myself almost and then the minute I just eat something else, it'll be right back. It was so frustrating. So the Bojenmi tea has been very helpful. And I did a video on that. And I asked you guys to give me any follow-up on how that's working out for you. Now, with that, guys, I don't believe there's just any magic thing that's going to help you to just magically lose your weight. You need to exercise, okay? So what I've been doing is with a tea, you can drink up to three cups a day. I drink about one to two cups a day. I don't put any sugar or honey in my tea. I'm just that person that I would drink it just in the nasty to get all the benefits out of it. I would say if you're going to sweeten it, maybe you should use honey or something like that. But I drink it straight as it is and I drink it, you know, nice and hot. Um, so with that, plus my exercise, and I'm telling you, I'm not doing any major workout or anything like that. It's basically, you could walk at a brisk pace, brisk pace. You can do walking, you can run in place, jog in place, you know, just set the timer or whatever. You can go on the treadmill, however you want to do it. Drinking that tea along with that, uh, with, you know, my exercise and really also being deliberate in what I eat, it has helped me to drop my weight. I'm down, like, I have lost significant amount of weight. I'm down to, like, 147, and maybe to some people that's still heavy, but for, I will tell you, when I was in the military, 145 was the, uh, I believe that was the max weight. So I was still within the height and weight standard army wise and i'm telling you the the military standard for weight is very tough for your height and your weight so for me the height that i am 145 was still within the the um was still within is what the military considered that okay i am still 
I'm still within military standards for my 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 weight and um or for my height so yeah so i'm excited to see myself just being two pounds from it whereas before it it seemed like i I could even lose i would those ounces will stay on and i don't know what properties are in that tea guys but it is helping it is helping um i'm not gonna say what i like to is like even if i treat myself and even if i do eat like like they have these rice crispy treats that I love. They the uh, Kellogg's came out with these home style rice krispies. Ooh, and they are so good. Um, even if I have that, I don't immediately just put back two pounds on like it used to be with with other things. So I think there's something in this tea, this Bojemi tea. It is amazing, guys. As I said, I can't say it's going to work for everybody. There are many factors in weight loss. I mean, in weight gain. It so you have to get your go to your doctor, let them do complete testing on you because I did that too. Went to my primary care, got blood drawn, did testing, and they were able to see, hey, this is what you have going on here, here, here. Um, um, whatever I needed medications for, they gave me that. Whatever I just need to exercise, I exercised and so you have to get that because sometimes you can have some thyroid issues you can have other things going on as well could be stress so there it's not just oh i drank this tea and now i'm dropping the weight if it's not working for you please explore with your primary care provider and just know that just drinking this tea alone and eating pizza is not going to work it's not a magic tea it's not a magic potion it's something that i believe helps to change uh, some things in the body and with your metabolism. I don't know what it does child. It's just working And so what it does when you're working out It's effective because you're dropping the weight and you're not just gaining it right back as soon as you know you you have You know you just you swallow some air and now it's like oh boom you gain some ounces again or a pound and I think that's one of the main reasons why people give up on trying to work out because it's so discouraging that you either have to sit around trying to eat measuring all your food eating two two tea, two tablespoons of of beans with a portion of meat and all these different things this is very annoying and you stay hungry all day and you got to be munching all day and eating all day and i'm a person I don't want to eat all day. I don't want to keep snacking all day. And that was one of the things I found. You have to eat in these small portions. You have a, a tiny bit of tuna, a tiny bit of this, a small bit of this, and then you're hungry again. So then you got to munch carrots all day, munch these things all day. And I hate eating all the time. I don't want to eat all day long so I can stay full. So I'm very happy to have found this. I just want to hear from you guys. How is it working for you? Please give me feedback below. Let me know. And um, yeah, let's keep going together. All right.